Hello friends, welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Before we get started, do all those things that all the other YouTubers tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, it's a very short amount of your time, but it actually means a lot uh, to getting our videos out there and helping as many people as we can. So please do so if you haven't already. And um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be talking about the, the thicket and the heavy stuff and the stuff that dwells on your brain and day in, day out. The first things you think about when you wake up in the morning, the last thing you think about when you go to sleep, which is anxiety, keeping your stuff together. I'm in the thicket. What do I do? Should, should I eat? All those heavy things. Uh, we cover a lot of that. And so there's a lot of the people that are subscribed to this channel and that are on the Aaron's Anxiety Family page on Facebook that have gotten past that point. And so where we're at over here on this side, long term, uh, getting past all the heavy, deep stuff, uh, it gets down to where you're trying to dial in this anxiety medication. You try to dial it in so it's just right for you. Um, so the hardest things about this is one, getting it in your system. Your body has to figure out what to do with all this extra uh, serotonin that it has and all the extra, you know, put this here and that there and this there. And then that's when you have the side effects. Your body's trying to figure out what to do with it all. Now, um, it doesn't matter your height. It doesn't matter your weight. It doesn't matter if you're male. It doesn't matter if you're female. It doesn't matter. Uh, everybody's dosage and um, tolerance is going to be different in the medication world. So that's your biggest hurdle is saying, hey, I got to figure out what works for me. So like I tried Celexa and I've also tried Zoloft. Um, both of them were fine. Zoloft worked for me. It was the very first thing I ever tried. This is like fresh out of high school and it worked for a little while. But then when I got off and came back, it didn't want to work. Um, I tried Celexa. That worked pretty good for a while. And then uh, I found the most success uh, with Lexapro so far. So the other ones weren't bad. They just weren't like ideal for my uh, chemical makeup. So once I found Lexapro, it takes a while, it's arduous, it takes time. You know, I tell everybody, everybody's like, how long does it go away? Yes, it's horrible. But as I always say, it takes a long time to climb up this anxiety mountain. Okay, it's gonna take some time to get back down. Okay, usually coming back down is faster. But it's gonna take some time. You have to be patient. And I know that's the hardest thing to do when you're scared is to be patient. Uh, but you, you know, character, <laughs> character pillar. A lot of that. So now that you're on the medication, things are going great. Uh, what I've found when fine tuning my medication is because I've been all over the map with even with Lex Lexapro. I've been on two and a half milligrams. I've been on uh, up to 15 milligrams at one point. Um, I think I yeah, actually I think I tried 20 for a while. Now it's just it was blowing my head up to do that. Uh, whereas my sister, who I mean she's my full blood sister. She takes 20 milligrams, no problem. That's just her stick, that's her normal thing, it's where she feels best. Um, it was giving me a lot more anxiety. <laughs> so, I stayed at 10 for a while, went up to 15. Now, I went down uh, to two and a half, said, I thought, oh, you know, all this, because it takes days to figure out if this little tweak is gonna be beneficial or not, because you gotta let that little, your body uh, uh, acclimate to that baseline. So you got to get to the baseline first and see how your body runs at that baseline. And you have different stresses throughout the day and throughout the week and throughout the months. So you have to wait for stresses to pop up and see how you handle them. So where I was at, okay, just to give you an idea recently, is I was taking 10 milligrams consistently for months and months, okay, like four months, five months, something like that. Um, and what I started having was... So what was it that I went in for last? Oh, I was having problems remembering things, and uh, you know my short-term memory didn't seem to be all that great. Um, and so, of course, I'm thinking, uh-oh, you know, I worry about that. You know, everybody worries about that. So my health anxiety was like, oh, you should be worried about that because that could be a thing. And so I went, and I didn't get off. See, we make rash decisions, and we hop off this stuff and hop on this stuff based off of how we're feeling at that moment. And that's a horrible thing to do. So what I did is I kept taking the 10 milligrams, called my doctor, said, hey, I just need to make an appointment just to talk to you about this stuff. I made an appointment and uh, told him what was going on. And at the time, my anxiety levels were great. Now keep in mind, it's only 10 milligrams. My anxiety is great, um, but I'm just having problems with my short-term memory. It's like I'm not quite paying attention. Or I'll have lapses in time where I'm like, oh, I've not been paying attention this whole time. 
Or like one time Sam said something to me like, hey, let the dog, or when you let the dogs back in, that's what it was. When you let the dogs back in, uh, put them in the laundry room because their, their feet are wet. Okay. So I'll go about what I'm doing. Like, you know, half hour goes by, however long the dogs were out. And so I go let them back in. I was like, she's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, well, I'm putting the dogs in the laundry room like you told me to. She goes, that was yesterday. What? And that was a, ooh, that was a creepy feeling. But my brain retained part of it because I was probably partly listening, partly playing on my phone or something. And then it just brought it back up. And so uh, when I made the doctor's appointment, he explained how my brain works and how all that, all that can happen. And it's basically it comes down to you're kind of halfway paying attention. And so your brain's kind of intermittently getting stuff because you're distracting yourself with your phone and, uh, and whatever else is in your day. I'm, you know, I'm a pretty busy guy. That's why I do these in the car because it's when I have time to actually sit down and talk um, uninterrupted. So, yeah, and so I asked him, I was like, all right, well, so what's the best route to go from here? Like switch medication? He goes, no, 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 God, no. He goes, this works great for you. Lexapro seems to be your medication uh, that works best with your, your your chemical makeup here. He goes, but we're gonna have to tweak it. And I go, okay, how much is a tweak? He goes, he goes, oh, he goes, well, he goes, I'd like to put you on like seven to seven and a half milligrams from ten. I go, that can make a difference. He goes, that can make a world of difference. He goes, he goes, you just kind of figure out that where's your baseline, and then there's just a little bit of residual something over here. And so, sure enough, I took it down to I was doing seven and a half because. I was breaking them into quarters. So I break it in half and break the half into half, that makes a quarter. And uh, I'd been doing that for like three months now, something like that. And it made a world of difference. All the, the memory thing that I was worried about went away, but my anxiety level stayed at this baseline. And it, it's really nice. Um, so keep in mind, when and just because you're on a medication for a while doesn't mean that you won't develop a side effect later. For whatever reason, um, at one point, I think it was when I was adjusting from 15 to five, uh, to 10, um, I started doing that jaw clenching, uh, which it can be a thing. You just like you're not even paying attention. Your jaw, your jaw is just like tightening up. I got it. And you just clench, and then you're you're sore here on both sides. You're sore. That's because you were clenching your jaw and you weren't paying attention. So like things like that. Um, the typical when you start is like yawning. Those are little side effects. Um, so yeah, so it, it, once you get to the later stages of these SSRIs, this fine-tuned tweaking, uh, when you see something pop up, uh, you know, side effect pops up, don't freak out, okay? It's not, you don't have to, like I said, it's not the end-all be-all. Uh, we just need to give this a little bit more time. So once you notice a symptom that, that of course, isn't dire, which usually is not going to happen with these medications, uh, it's best to give it a little bit more time, give it at least another week or two and figure out if that's okay or if it subsides. Because sometimes it'll just pop up and then it'll just subside back down. It's not a problem. Uh, but if it stays a little, you know, consistent, um, then I would make an appointment with your doctor and say, hey, can we, can we kind of fine tune this? And once you get it down to fine tune, I mean, you're really thinking about it, you're in a really good place in your anxiety. So uh, when you look at the course of the journey that I've been on and a lot of my friends on the Aaron's Anxiety page uh, here and on Facebook, um, this is a good spot for a lot of us, okay? And if you're not here yet, just know you're gonna get there as long as you keep making strides, okay? This channel is filled with people that have made strides and got a lot better, and this, is ch this channel is also filled with uh, people in the comments that have tried stuff, gave up too early, uh, they, you know what I mean? They, it's not for everybody. Not everybody is gonna make it to the end of the journey. Uh, people give up really fast. We have, there's a lot of weak-spirited people in the world, and this I'm not saying that this is easy by any means because this will take a lot out of you, and it's going to challenge you, and it's going to create a better person than you've ever been by the time you get out of it because you're going to be better for the situation. Um, life is always preparing you. So I'm going to leave this video here. I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, pass it on to a friend. Uh, if you know anybody that struggles with anxiety, please uh, lend them my channel. Uh, you know what I mean? Give them all the information they can. Uh, because the lack of information is what makes things more scary. So uh, if you guys need me, you know how to get a hold of me. Say hi in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys. And uh, until next time, friends, I'm Aaron. You're awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.